Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Faithful God. Gracious God. Gracious God. Enede gele brege dwala kora bedas. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My God, my God, Thank my God. You, what a faithful awesome God we serve. Wow, this is God. once again activating power Thank prayers. Uh, and it's been 33 days. Wow. And God has been faithful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. We've Hallelujah. Been, we've been hearing and seeing God's mighty acts. Yes. Powerful God we serve. Mm. Awesome God we serve. Awesome God we bless we you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, creator of the heavens and the earth. Yes. The omnipotent God. Oh, yes. Omniscient God. God. We bless you. You are, you are the God of all flesh. There is nothing too difficult for you to do. So this morning we bless God. And we thank him for through these 33 days he has been faithful. Hallelujah. Once again, this is the reign of his blessing, yes. activating power Power-up prayer, special yes. 40 days, special 40 days, we want to see God, we are praying, we are seeing God's power and we are seeing lives prosper yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. So very quickly, I'm, uh, of course, Reverend uh, J.S. Jonah and then my beloved wife, Pastor Joy. Hallelujah. Please, can we read the scripture this morning? Yes. But before that, let's thank God Father, this morning. We we'll bless thank you. you. Thank you. The Bible says you, you said we should come into your yes. presence with thanksgiving. We thank you. And into your courts with praise. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We, you, Jesus. we, bless you, Jesus. we exalt you. Glory to you, Jesus. There is none that can be compared to you. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Amen. Pastor Jai, please, can we read our scriptures Ezekiel. this morning? Wow. We are reading Ezekiel 33, verse 33. Man of wow. God, this is wow. getting more interesting. <laughs> wow. The 33 day. And we are reading Ezekiel 33, 33. I'm wow. sure you won't forget that in a hurry. Ezekiel 33, 33. The third day. Of this 40 days fasting and prayer, we're reading Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. 33. Mm. Man of God, come on. This God is, is good. Is, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> the word of God says, and when this comes, oh, yeah, to yeah, pass, yeah, 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 yeah. Lo, it will come. Uh -huh. It's an assurance. Yes. Then shall they know that a prophet oh, had that. been among them. Hey. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. You know. One thing I like about God is that God can send you and you look like you are not sent. Wow. God can send you and you look like you, 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 you are not sent. It's not possible. So, you know, God says, and when this comes to pass, because after these 40 days, your expectations must come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your, 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 that's your, your breakthrough. That's your, that thing that is the foremost. There's some people, it's not even money. It's not, it, they, they want God. They want a new dimension of God. They want an impartation of God. They want something that cannot be touched with hands. It is, it's a longing. Some, somebody, it's a, it's, it's conception. But look at this. The scripture says on this 33rd day, and when this come to pass, now, something will come to pass and something will come to be. Ah. Something must come to pass and another thing must come to be. Mm. So, that season of shame will surely come to pass. Mm. That season of reproach. Now, the Bible says, and God visited Sarah yes. as he had promised, as he had spoken. And he did unto Sarah what he had said. And it came to pass that Sarah conceived. Hallelujah. That is how it is. It shall come to pass that your expectation shall arrive. Amen. It shall come to pass that manifestation you will experience it. Amen. It shall come to pass that that sickness you will look for it, you will see it again. Amen. It shall come to pass that that situation will become a thing of the past. That has always been the case. My no matter God. how long David has been mm. in the bush running from Saul, one day it My shall God. come to pass Hallelujah. that David will not run again. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how long Esther has served as a maid. It hey. shall come to 
to pass one day she should not she will no longer be a maid it doesn't matter how long Ruth had looked like she didn't have a husband but it shall come to pass one day a Boaz will appear I don't care what the situation is but I came with a more sure word of prophecy it shall come to pass Hallelujah. Shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Yes, it shall come to pass. It shall come Pastor to Joy, please. Pass. It's it's an exciting hey. morning. Yes. Ah, yeah, God. And when this come to pass, hey. there is a this he was referring to. Yes. When this now it's not everything that comes to pass. Mm. When this oh, yeah, yeah, come yeah. to pass, you must know the this that must come to pass yes. in your life. Yes, that's this. When this come to pass mm. and then in bracket it says lo it will come to pass read it in your bible it will come that bracket there is the emphasis of what has been said before then mm. and when this come to pass lo it shall come to pass god is assuring you mm. it will be a past tense yes when i used ay, to ay, 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 be ay. single mm. when i used to be childless mm. When I used to have troubles in marriage, mm. it shall come to pass. It will be that. a history. It will be referring to it as something that has passed. Mm. He says, Then shall they know who are the they. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is a dangerous day. Mm. Now I want to tell you something concerning that. When he said, when then shall they know that a prophet had been yeah, among yeah. them? We want to tell you the authenticity of this word God has placed in our hearts. Mm. I want to read the word of God in the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 18, verse 22. Mm. The Bible says, when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, mm. if the thing follow not, now come to pass. That is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. Agabadash. Agabadash. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Yandu. Agabadash. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Hey. That's the word of God. He talked about you shall know that a prophet has been in your midst. Hmm. We don't just talk words for speaking sake. When God gives us a command, we speak with audacity. Mm. Even if it looks as if it's, it, it's, it's wet, how can you tell a man that under 24 hours there's going to be meat in a place where women are killing their own children and eating? When God gives us word, we speak it with clarity and accuracy. In those letters. The Bible says that the man that was doubting said, even if God opens the windows in heaven, mm. how can it be? Mm. When prophets speak, we don't speak. You know, when God was speaking to Moses, I remember very clearly, mm. it was an impossible situation that God was talking about. My God. Moses was doubting the world. Mm. God told him, go and tell these people this. And then Moses was asking God, you mean I should tell them this? How can I tell them this? And now he began to ask God, mm. how are you going to bring it to pass? Will you command all the what, fish in the water to come? All the, all the, he, all the yes. everything to he, meat everywhere yes. he said are you referring will you bring all the fish in this rib will you slaughter all the animals how will you how give them how? meat in a wilderness mm. i'm talking about when god has given command and we come and we declare it mm. moses was as well scared because his his prophetic unction was at stake mm. Moses was scared, man of God, because he was like, what if I say it and it didn't come oh, to God pass? God. Now, our problem is make, make sure we hear God. Mm. Our problem is not how the word is going to come it's to pass. It's not our business. Because this plan told us if you speak and it, can, it did not come to pass, then God has not spoken to you. Mm. We can lift up our voice and declare because we are not speaking presumptuously. Mm. This that the third day, oh, the Lord is speaking clearly. Oh, yeah, and I want to let you know, you, know it, you need to be sure that God spoke to you. Mm. He said you shall know that a prophet had been In among the midst. you. Among you, yeah. You will know a prophet has been among ah, you. Yeah, now Moses was trembling when he was negotiating with God to be sure that God has spoken. Mm. 
He was negotiating. Lord, you mean we should embark on a 40 days fast? Lord, you mean we should do this? He was telling God, you told me to go and tell, you know how many they are? They are 600,000 men in the wilderness. Not to talk about their wives. The women and children. Not to talk about the entire family, the children. Not to talk about their slaves and the missed multitude. He was counting and telling God, excuse me, God, you mean I should tell them that by the time they wake up in the morning, they shall have meat. Mm. They shall have food. These people for three days have not seen food. Ah, yeah, they yeah. are hungry and they are about to stone me. Lord, please, your my my pro, my my office as a prophet is at stake. Ah, yeah, yeah. And your word is at stake. These people are already agitated at their situation. And Lord, you are telling me to go and prophesy. Mm. Thus says the Lord, by this time tomorrow, this about. will happen. You will have food in the wilderness. Oh my God. Hey, I'm talking about a God. I can do all things. Mm. You will have food in the wilderness. You will have meat. Meat. Lord, excuse me. How are you going to do it? God told him, see, it is not your job. Your job is to prophesy. Mm. My job is to bring my word to pass. I believe that Moses was trembling when he was speaking that word. Yes. <laughs> God didn't tell him how he's going to do it. But he I said, Paul it. says the Lord. Ah, yeah, yeah, in yeah. the evening you shall be filled with meat. In and in the morning you shall be filled with bread. Ah, yeah, da, da. I tell you something. The Bible said that this wind blew and there were quails everywhere. I don't know where the quails came from, but it filled everywhere. The Bible said all around their tents uh, that we are gathering meat and they were filled. The Bible said for the space of a month that we are having enough where they had nothing. Jesus. I'm talking about the force of prophecy. Ah, yeah, he yeah, said yeah, yeah. after this you shall know a prophet is in your midst. If only you will believe the Bible says believe the Lord Lord your God, you shall be established, believe his prophet, and you shall prosper until you believe the word of God that God has placed in our mouth, that in these 14 days the Lord has marked out this season, that everything the enemy has done in your life will be turned around, you will call it and say this, for this he said, this, and when this comes to pass, that this that is in your life will come to pass. If Amen. only you believe that God has placed his word in our mouth, I and you know that. that God has been watching you, I he has seen your that. travel, he has seen he your questions, he has yes. seen your fasting, Amen. he has seen your tears, Amen. he has seen your struggles, Amen. he has seen, and in this season, he has marked out and made it very clear that he is coming for you, Amen. that his word is going to come to pass. Hallelujah. And you will know that when God speaks, uh, he speaks to his servants, mm. he speaks to his prophets that obey him and we speak us. exactly what God has given us. Get ready. Hallelujah. Because you're going to see a dimension of God you have never seen before. In the name Bless of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Malash. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. know why Pastor Joe was saying that I was mm. hearing it very clearly. Listen to Hallelujah. me. I remember several, the yes. Lord brought to my remembrance mm. what happened in 2001. Okay. What happened in 2001? Mm. Now there was this lady I met her. Nice. I met her and then she just ran into me and then she said, "Man of God, mm. my brother is in America. Wow. I can't remember. The Holy Spirit helped me. How many years?" She said he had the case and mm. he had been laid off from his chem from his workplace, mm. and because of that he had become impoverished. Oh. But that he's going for the final judgment the next day. Mm. He was going for the, the final judgment day, the next hours. day, 24. So. I, I just, I just, I just, I don't even know. I, I just blotted out. In the next 24 hours, he shall be restored. Amen. And I went my way. That was it. The next day, I was passing the same place. And then this woman ran back to me and told me that this, her brother has been reinstated and paid what was yes. due him for years. And as she's talking to me, look at what he even sent to her because she had told him that a man of God has said. Mm. And so he has said, this is it, to, bl to bless God. Mm. Now, listen very attentively. I feel the same pressure. I feel the same impartation. Mm. I feel the same knowing. I have mm. the same knowing mm. that people under the sound of my voice, there's going to be mm. multiplied 24 hours dimension of deliverance, of favors, of breakthroughs, 
of conceptions, of, of blessings, ah. of deliverances, Maya you will Labo. suddenly wake up. That situation has changed. Amen. You will suddenly wake up. That's, that calamity is over. Amen. You will suddenly wake up. That sickness has disappeared. Amen. This time around, that thing you have been expecting for weeks, for months, mm. I have a strong impression. It has come to pass. Amen. It happened that one particular day, Ahab met with King met with Elijah, and Elijah said, "Go, for I hear the sound of abundance of rain." This is another set of people. The Bible says he went down and he sent his servant seven times. Today, Marky, this is the thirty-third day. It is remaining seven days before this program is over. But say, but I'm telling you, in the next seven days, there will be a perfection of expectation. There will be a perfection of miracles. There will be a perfection. Some of you in this seven days go and check you are pregnant in these seven days oh, go and check that business has clicked go and Hallelujah. check that favor has arrived Hallelujah. because today we Hallelujah. came by the Shut prophetic up. word of yeah. god to declare that what you have been making demand for for ages what you have been expecting it is happening in the name of jesus Amen. In a tola kera pata, we da zo yes. Torrents, torrents. I don't know what you are expecting. This season, God is releasing it. Yes, yes, yes. He is releasing it. Maka tola pata. Yes. I tell you, it was a manipulation. That miracle of that young man that was a lawyer. He says he's he's a learned gentleman, and then some things happened. It was a spiritual manipulation. But by the spoken word, on that twenty-four hours, it was turned around. In 2001, in 2001, and you are just two years old in the Lord at that time. <laughs> and I tell you something, <laughs> it doesn't matter how old that situation might be. Oh, my if you key into this prophetic word on this title, third day of the Father's personal prayers, the Lord is declaring that the age long afflictions are breaking. In there is a breaking forth of testimonies in the name of Jesus all over the place. In the name of Jesus, Amen. To that miracle, and you see it come to pass. Now somebody said that was 2001. Me, I, I can't count. That's 20 years ago. I can't count. <laughs> I can't count. Some few, I think, some few weeks ago, about last month, a lady called me from the US. She said they wrote a petition against me. It hmm. can cost me my job. Wow. It can cost me my job. Wow. And then when I said that petition is turned, is hmm. turned around hmm. to commendation. Hmm. Something must happen. Today, she said, I'm going back to the office. I have to report at the office. When she arrived at the office, they told her it was a mistake. Hey, it was I a mistake. They I said it, it was a mistake. <laughs> Let me tell you, when mistake. God is involved, it mistakes mistake. turn to miracles. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know what is a burden around you. Mm. Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. I but hear it very clearly. Mirror. <laughs> Miracle jobs are being released right Amen. now. Before this week is over, they are going to call you. Amen. Before this week, yeah. now, when I mean jobs, contracts are released, job job expectations you are called for, mm. all kinds of things that concern mm. occupation is happening now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So he said, when it comes to pass, they shall know that shall there is a, a prophet among them. Among there is a prophet. A prophet is not necessarily carrying a prophet title or having a long beard. It means that the word of God is in your mouth. Yes. And I want and to prophesy true. about the word of the Lord. I decree anyone who has an expectation in this season mm. that their expectation becomes their manifestation. Amen. Several years ago, back in an Asian city, Nigeria I called a few. But I was in a meeting. This should be around 2011. And then I there was this young this man. I don't know him. I didn't even know he doesn't have a job. He was a lecturer. He had been laid off for years, donkey years, without a job. And I didn't even know he was a lecturer. I just went to him and said, This season, before so so and so time, you are going to get a job. This is in the east. Do you know that they invited him to work in the north? In the north by recommendation. Somebody just said this man was, and then he got his job. And the wife couldn't believe it. The wife couldn't. She said, is it just this thing that was said? Now, that is what I'm telling you it happens. In the city of Eket in 2020, 2010, there was this meeting and a young a man and his wife was, I just saw them, I didn't know them from anywhere. And the Lord said, these people, they need, they don't have a child. 
and behold as i i, I called this man out, i said you and your wife you have you have bad you have a, a, a child a, a conception issue they say yes we've been married for eight years the woman got married at 42 and she was at that time 50 Yay. years so the lord said in the next nine months Woo! you shall carry your baby Somebody did you out. know Come do out. you know that nine months later i got a call hey. that that woman had just delivered a baby girl at the age of 51. Mm. The same woman delivered her down two years later at the age of 53. Yes. Now, what is impossible with God? You are not looking not for me. a baby, but you are looking for a breakthrough. Hey. You are not looking for a breakthrough, but you are expecting a favor. You are not looking for favor. Hey. You are hey. looking hey. for a husband. Hey. You are not looking. I don't hey. know what hey. you are looking for, hey. but hey. I perceive hey. that today hey. by the prophetic hey. and apostolic hey. mantle hey. that is upon my destiny, hey. There is a delivery of anything that is expectation. I want you in these few minutes to press in, to press in. Akapale toal attach. Yaketola. Life does not give you what you desire. Life gives you what you demand. You may be hearing this from anywhere, but this is time to pray. Kapala Tosha. Inadale Kerebedosha. Yagedwala Kola Paratas. Zagedwele Kola Pela Kalapa. Zagagagagagaga. Ina Tola Kera Pelata. Zagagaga Godo Dozo Dozo. Ede Pele Kola Prepetuala Ka. Zagadwala Garabadas. Ila Pele Kola Pela. Rakatwa, ya keke twa leke tola parasa, endi golo tole kora bedas. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prophecy is not a business. Mm -mm. It is not just to speak to anybody whether they are born again or they are not, just to oh to, to show that you are prophet, you are prophesying. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. It is God's encouragement mm. and deliverance to His people. It is God's encouragement. Mm. When you hear Moses say, the Lord will give you water. When you hear Moses say, stand still mm. and see the salvation of God. Lord. He has prophesied to them. Mm. And when God told him, the Bible says, he stretched his rod the way open. I see ways being made for the people of God. Amen. I see ways, mighty ways. Yes, I see mighty ways being made for the people of God. Mm. I see unbelievable openings unimaginable hey, dimensions Allah, of operation Allah. being open for the people of God. Amen. It is not Jesus just to Allah, prophesy. Allah. It is to the people of God. Oh, yes. So without wasting time, I want you to be born again because we are going to pray. The Bible says, believe this. Do warfare. First Timothy says, do warfare with the prophecies that have gone ahead of you. Now, some of us will get things spoken into our life and then we'll go and re relax. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. You hold them and you do warfare with them. Yes. Now, you can't pray unless you are you are called of God. Mm. Because the prayer of a sinner is abomination, abomination before God. Because you want to intercede. There are many of you that have books of what have been prophesied over your life. There are things that I don't just want to say what I am saying. As today, we are making warfare with what it is that have been spoken into your life. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, we are going to pray wherever you are saying, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I know, I know that I'm a sinner. I come to you today. I, come to you today. I, ask, I ask that my sins be forgiven. My sins be forgiven. Let, the Let the blood of Jesus wash away my wash sin. Away my every, sin. Condemnation, every condemnation, every guilt. Every guilt. Today, today, the power of guilt, power of guilt is, broken. is broken. Jesus, Jesus I receive you I receive as my Lord, as my Lord and, personal and personal Savior. Savior. Give, me Give me the grace to live for, to you, live for you, to walk with to you walk with the rest of my life. Of my Thank life. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving, me. for saving me in jesus name, in jesus name. Amen. amen now we're going to do but before we do that there's somebody who is on a very sick bed a very sick bed but you are as you're hearing this you are coming out of sickness amen. there's somebody there's even no diagnosis you you can't it's just a diagnosis but what is is diagnosed is less than what is happening but we come against the spirit of terminal diseases amen. We cause the spirit of terminal diseases. I come against kidney issues. I come against lung lung cancers. I apala kotwa in the zagedoza legedwado kosha. I come against it. Yes, there is somebody. There is somebody that is is with a very serious 
kidney issue it does not go to but the pain is unbearable but that pain dies right now in the amen. name of jesus that somebody look you, you, from in fact the whole of your body you don't understand what is happening but that infirmity the hold of infirmity is broken amen. in the name of jesus but amen. right now when you hear this message or when you get to this place pick up pick up every test pick up in your mind if it's written everything prophecy that you have gotten Concerning your destiny, concerning your marriage, concerning your family, concerning the work of your mm. some people have written very strong words from mm. God, but they have realized. But today we are praying them into be so that by the time it is these seven days, you are carrying heavy lo they are carrying loads of breakthroughs. Hallelujah. So lift up your voice, Heavenly Father. Heavenly I hold on to you. I hold every on word every spoken, word to, my spoken to my that destiny. That is your word. That, is that your has word been hanging. That I've been hanging. Today, today, I ask, I ask every hindrance, every hindrance be, removed. be removed. As my testimony, as my, testimony, as my breakthroughs, as my, breakthrough, as my favor, as my, favor, as my word as my comes, word, to, pass comes to, pass to pass in this season. In the name of Jesus, let's lift up our voice. Kata zazozosa anegedwale karabadash yagadwala korabada zwalas yadada gogo dwagele borosha ina kola pela karapata yada daga dola garabadash yada gadwa dada gogo dwada gado goda yada gadwa dada dola gada rata zazo zogo dwa ina kola kera pela kala twa zagadwale karaba prophecies concerning your ministry prophecies concerning your destiny prophecy concerning your marriage your marital life prophecy concerning your job alake twa la kara pa ya kala to la ta jake twa la ka we break the spirit of delay we break the spirit of delay ina twa la kora patazwa ne de dwa la kora pe la kala twa la jake ke ke le ko to la ka isa kala twa la kara pata in the name of jesus in a galabadas in the lab brothers your warfare has produced your welfare your warfare has produced your welfare you are going to experience the welfare of god you are going to experience the wonders of god yes you are going to experience the welfare of god you are going to experience the wonders of god wonders without numbers that is what you are going to experience that spell is broken that limitation is removed that sickness is caused that situation has solution that mess you are coming out of it that joy receive it that help receive it in the name of jesus you shall not be put to shame you shall not be put to shame your family shall not be put to shame in the name of jesus Amen. we have just some few minutes pastor joy please can you can you pray as we, as we pray we declare the lord yes we are not unaware of the manifestation of darkness over the land we are not unaware of the activities of men in the land we are not unaware of the manipulations of the land we are not unaware of the manipulations of the land we are not unaware of the manipulation of powers of darkness in the name of Jesus in the six regions of the underworld in, in the covens of witches and wizards in the, the occultic men and women in the and their dash. activities we, we lift up our voice in authority in the name of Jesus and Akola, we prophesy over the land in the name of Jesus. Every manipulation of darkness, every work of wickedness, in the every projection of hell, every assignment of wickedness, we declare right now you are crumbling. In the we name of Jesus, Agadola Brabas, Agabada Goraba, in the name of Jesus. And I call a pala to a cash in the name of Jesus. You are pukula pala to a la corabada. We break them down. We judge every person in Kotola Carabada in the Labada. We declare that they are broken today. We declare that only the council of God shall stand. In the name of Jesus, every manifestation of wickedness is broken today. In the Labada, your environment, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the Labada, Yaga Labada, that manipulation of darkness, in the Labada, in the name of Jesus, in your neighborhood, in the land. Near your Near your we declare that manifestations of wickedness are destroyed by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we establish only the council of God. Amen. And we declare the work of God is going forward. In the name we of Jesus, the church of Jesus Christ is established.
established in the name of Jesus. Agabala da Bragada. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That men are delivered Amen. from the spells that have been casted over their life and destiny. Amen. We come against the prostitution raging in our land. We come against the manipulations. We in declare the lost. We declare that the works of the enemy Ayabadash. is breaking from the life of people. In the you name of Jesus. You are being set free from every spell. Yes, in Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you praise. We bless your name, Lord. We while you while we were praying that, I kept hearing something. Mm. He said, and I prophesied, and Peleta, the son of Benaniah, died. died. Anybody who is a torrent, who is a torment to your destiny, I prophesy in this next seven days, if they will not change their mind, they will be laid to rest. Yes, and you shall rest. have your rest. Amen. And you shall enter your rest. Amen. Any strong man, we prophesy against them in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So this Hallelujah. evening we have service, the place of the blessing. Eba on the run restaurant, yeah. VIP lunch. You are welcome. First Junction. And then our program download is coming up on the 27, 28, and 29. Exactly from today, next week, when the 40 days will end. So we're expecting you, if you're in Great Accra region, if you're anywhere, just be there. It's going to be awesome. And then tomorrow we'll start having the senior pastor of of Dunamis International Gospel Center, wow. Pastor, uh, Pastor, yeah, Pastor George Kingsley, he will be here with us on Hallelujah. radio this one. Come he will on also be on our guest, our guest next week. So Download. it's from from six forty, six twenty in the morning tomorrow. He'll be here. Yes. God bless you God bless in the you name of Jesus. Have a wonderful day Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Hey, no do. With Jesus, yes, I'll dance into your tune. For as a tear pants for water, so my soul longs for you. Forever and ever, yes, my heart beats for you. For as a tear pants for water, so my soul longs.